Welcome back. <laughs> Are we up? Are we up? <laughs> Good morning, gang. Sorry, it's not going to be more interesting stream this morning, but I have a ton of this to catch up on. As you know, before I left, I did all the work for the printers, all the sizing work for the printers for the two weeks. And now that I'm back, they're all sitting here waiting for their next job. All the setup is sort of new. Everything's been packed away. The microphone level is okay. I don't know. I really can't tell. Let me know if there's anything that needs to be changed. You know what we're going to do today? I'm going to heat up, cook up some size first, then do some sizing, then hang it. We have a lot of paper here this morning. These are large sheets, and I've got 40 of them. So we are going to be pushed for time. We do have show and tell prepared, but... I wouldn't bet a whole lot of money on that. We'll see how it goes. Tons of stories, tons of activities. I had a great time over in Canada. So when we get going here, poke me with some questions, whatever. We'll have a go at it. But for now, let's get this done. Let's get this started. You know the first step. I'll turn the camera around while I do the quick heat up the cooking, and then I'll bring it back and pour it. So take care of yourself for a couple of minutes. The paper is out. Ishikawa-san is coming today. Her dot is on the fridge. I brought her paper out a couple of hours ago. Is the show and tell the new thing you stole from your son-in-law? You mean like a shirt or something? No, I've got some prints. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. Let me get this started or we'll never get anything done. Hang on a sec. If I had had any brains, I would have preheated that. So give me a couple of minutes here. No, I stole nothing from my son-in-law this time. Please, please, please don't go that way. Nothing at all. <laughs> Jet lag is bad. The first day I'm okay. The second day I'm okay. This is the third day. And it hits. Like yesterday afternoon, it, I, it really hits in the late afternoon. Four o'clock, five o'clock. I can barely stay awake. And tonight it'll be bad, and then maybe it'll get a bit better. We have three liters in there today, and the level of glue has been elevated a bit. I think the last one of these I did before I left, I was telling you, because it's winter and getting cold, we were dropping the level of glue down, down, down. We got to 35 grams per liter. And of the paper I did before I left, at that level, 35 grams per liter, most of the printers were okay. It's funny, all the in-house printers said it's okay, but two of the outside printers, oh, Ishikawa-san, okay. come say hello, 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 look who's here, Ishikawa-san. Your paper is out. She's doing at the moment, she's doing you know, the scent of chrysanthemums, the small version. And look at this masks, more masks, masks. Lenny, let me get going. We'll talk about it.
We heated this water to boiling. It's uh, about 500 grams of water. Heated to boiling, and I dumped in all the alum. Enough alum for three liters of the size today. We melt the alum separately from the glue. Because the temperature required is different. The alum melts best here, it dissolves best at just around boiling point. But I can't heat the glue to near boiling point because I think it breaks down the, the fibers, collagen and stuff like that. So the glue is being heated to about 60. And once they're both melted, both dissolved, in they go.
Okay, it's in there. Can you give me a five minute count on this, please? It should sit for around five minutes. That's a rough number, just I want it to sit for a little while. But if you give me a five minute count, please. Okay, questions, questions, questions. How much alum? We're doing alum at 15% of the weight of glue. Today's mix is three liters of water, and for each liter, there is 40 grams of glue and 15% of that in alum, which means six grams of alum. So altogether, there's 18 grams of alum in the whole thing for three, three, uh, three liters. And I think I got, I got sidetracked a minute ago when Ishikawa-san came in. The paper I prepared before going to Canada, we had worked our way down. It was getting colder and colder and colder. I worked my way down to 35 grams per liter. All the in-house printers made their prints very well with it, but two of the outer printers, the outhouse, in-house printers, outhouse printers, that's not how it works, in-house printers and, and uh, contract printers, they all reported that the sizing was too soft. The paper was starting to lift up fibers of the paper. They want it stronger. I don't want to do that. I think 35 is fine. I think maps they're using paste that's a bit too thick or something like this. But I can't argue. They're professional printers. So this batch is for them. It's work that's going to be sent to them tomorrow and Monday. So we've lifted it to 40 at their request. I think it's too strong, but how much size does a sheet of paper soak up? I don't know. We have today. Once we get started, you'll see it. These are sheets of Takenaga paper. The sheet you're going to see in a minute is half, whatever, whatever. Ask me again in a few minutes when we can see. I can't give you a number. The kind of paper we use for the Great Wave is extremely thin, and I have to dip and wipe most of the liquid off before brushing. This Takenaga paper is much thicker. It's going to be used for Shin Hunger type work. These are going to be uh, Fuji Tago no Ura, the print for this one. So it soaks up a lot more. Did I do any skiing with my grandsons? No, I went skiing with them. Myself, my son-in-law, and the two boys went up to uh, up to Cypress Bowl. The boys went up the lifts and spent four hours skiing. Yohan and I just walked around. You maybe saw the picture on our Instagram feed. Yohan and I just spent a couple of hours walking on the trails. I'm not a skier. I know I went cross-country skiing once or twice when I was a little kid, but uh, I've never been a skier. Our room temperature today is, it's warming up again. It's been not so bad in Japan this year, you know. It hasn't been that much of a terrible winter. The top number is the temperature. The bottom number is the humidity in this room. There seems to have been some confusion last time I showed this. Somebody was thinking that the bottom number was the temperature. It's not. Top number, temperature. Bottom number, humidity. It's not bad. It's been a nice, nice winter, you know. How's mom? We had a birthday party with mom. Yes, very much so. I don't have a, a photograph for you. She's okay. She She's not here today. She can't follow this kind of stuff anymore. She knows who we are. She talks to us. She's happy. She has conversations. If we ask something, there's a response. She doesn't initiate anything. She will just sit there and nothing will happen until we ask or prompt and, and then she will reply something. She's okay. She's okay. My brother is living in Vancouver now. He goes to see her every day. He spends the day in the nursing home. Wheels are outside when it's nice weather and it plays inside when it's not. So so she is okay. She doesn't remember, remember much of, of this kind of stream stuff. I'm sorry, but uh, whatever, she's there. So. And I'm asking, I'm asking, you know, she's in the nursing home and the rules there are very clear. You, Everybody gets tested before going in the nursing home. So I've been tested basically every day for the past uh, couple of weeks. And nothing, 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 nothing. But the other thing, the masks, I've been in Vancouver now and nobody, but nobody, but nobody wears masks. So the first day I'm there, I get out of the airport, and I'm like this. I get on the bus and the train, I'm like this, and nobody has a mask. 
it took me two weeks, <laughs> bit by bit by bit. I get my mask off now and then. We're at home, I go in my daughter's house, this family like, Dad, please, you know, take off your mask. So, okay, I, I take off my mask and all that kind of stuff. It's taken two weeks for me to get used to it. <laughs> I get back to Japan last night and back we go. Okay, five minutes, thank you. It wasn't a five minute alarm, it was just a general, I want it to soak for a while before we start. Thank you. And it's very funny now, the masking thing, the Japanese government is now trying to change this. It's not going to happen really easily. They've put out a rule that starting next month, March the, I think it's the 13th or March the 18th, they put out a rule. We're announcing that it's now okay to go around without a mask. Because the thing is, the Japanese people, me included, we're waiting for the rule. Somebody tell us what to do. Not because we're sheep or something, but because we need a consensus. This society needs a consensus to do things properly and normally. And we need a consensus on what to do. And if somebody has no mask, somebody has a mask, is this right, is this wrong? It's difficult for us here to understand. So, and the government is unwilling to say, take your masks off or leave them on. So they've said from March the 13th, it's your own choice. And nothing's going to change because nobody will be able to take it off. Okay, as we said, what's going on here? There is a lot of paper in here today. Here's the deal. Here's the, here's the job. This is half of one sheet. I've cut it. I cut it this morning. If I back up a bit, if you think of double of these, that's the one sheet. It's the dimension called takenaga, takenaga paper. And we don't make prints that large, of course. We chop it up and make smaller prints. And what's going to happen here? No, uh, big enough for four oban, it would be, but the, the grain is the wrong way. We can't make oban, four oban prints with this because the grain would be the wrong way. We're going to make, if you imagine our ukiyo heroes prints, one, two, three, four. This is going to make four of those. And this one is going to be sushi cats, four sushi cats from each one of these sheets. And this is big. This is large stuff. It's going to be difficult for me to get enough size in the brush to get to the end of the line without dumping too much of the front of the line. This is the toughest job we've got here. Someone's asking, what about ramen cats? Vivid KP, leave me alone, please. <laughs> I think there was a beep beep a moment when my laundry's done, but I'm not going to stop and hang it up now. But at the end of today's stream, if somebody could remind me, Dave, please hang up the laundry, it would help. Otherwise, I'll forget and I'll leave it in there. Somebody's asking, how did the surfer girl test printing go? I am, it's ready, it's done. I spoke to Kawaii-san on the phone yesterday. He's going to send it over today. Or no, that was yesterday. So t today I will be receiving the first test prints of the surfer girl. Moldy laundry. It's not going to get moldy in one hour, not in this temperature. Okay, let's get going. Let's get started. Let's roll.
So far, so good. Someone says, Dave, did I do any swimming or daily exercise in Canada? No, I was booked morning till night. My daughters had me booked. They gave me a calendar. They set it all up. You will go here, do this, do that. I didn't get any formal exercise, but I was a busy, busy little guy over there. So I'm not too worried about being lazy. No. And back to exercise, back at the pool here. I started yesterday, of course. Lego, yeah, the Lego, I guess I didn't see it. I wasn't involved. My oldest, uh, eldest, oldest grandson, Alex, he grabbed it. The, my, uh, no. I've got four grandchildren. They're different ages. They're, they're 16, 14, 5, and 2. So the 5-year-old and 2-year-old were out of the equation for that Lego. And the 14-year-old the, the, uh, wasn't so interested. So the 16-year-old, Alex, he grabbed it and had a go at it. And I wasn't there the day he did it. I'm dumping a bit too much at the top. I don't know if you can see it. This is difficult. It tends to get too much at the top where the brush is loaded. Maybe you can see the color difference. I don't know. You can see the difference. This would tell me if I was doing well, you know. If the color tone was good here, and if this went to be white here, it would tell me I wasn't getting enough uh, liquid. But we're looking okay. We're looking good. I didn't lose it in two weeks. The noise outside, it's the metal pipes. They're taking down or putting up, I don't know, some scaffolding. There's construction everywhere around us here. This area is booming. Old buildings coming down, new buildings going up. The pool I go to, it's, it's two short blocks away. Well, it doesn't take one minute, well, one minute to walk. The New Year crowd is gone. We chatted about this before. You know, this happens the same in Japan as anywhere. In the new year, beginning of January, there was a bunch of new people at the fitness center. So the pool was a little bit crowded for a while. Not so bad, but a few more people. And now they're gone. And not only are they gone, it's the end of February, it's cold, the pool. I got in there yesterday and I had a lane all to myself. That's so crazy. Here in the middle of Tokyo, to find a swimming pool, to swim in the mornings with a lane all by myself. But it won't be like that. Come spring and when it warms up, it'll be more crowded, of course. No one to slow me down yet, right? No one for me to get out of the way of. Normally, the woman I swim together with, she's faster than me.
Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on, come on. The pool here, I know we talk about the chlorine thing. I was worried about that too because the chlorine thing really gets a bit, I don't know, too much. But this one, I'm sure it's safe. I'm sure the water is, is sanitized, but there's no grotesque chlorine, uh, chlorine feeling or chlorine smell. The guy tested. We're in there at seven o'clock. The doors open at seven, so I'm in the water by about two thirty. We get started about seven o two, seven o two, seven o three, and during the first five minutes, the people are testing. So they're they're sitting there at the corner of the pool, testing up the water, holding up the light, reading numbers and stuff. So. So I'm sure it's safe, but there's no obvious chlorine type smell. I don't know if they use different methods. I really don't know. I certainly trust it. No, 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 no. It's a normal pool. No, no, not salt water. I'm in the middle of Tokyo here. It's just a normal fitness center pool, 25 meters, seven lanes. sheets. What's this? May 15th. Are you traveling again already? Man, you must be rich. What's going on? Are you in town, John? Is that the idea? My God. He does more traveling in a year than I do in 10 years. How can you run a business and take so many vacations? April 20th, leaving on May 16th. Four weeks! What's, what's he doing right that I'm doing wrong? This photography bit must be just a front. He has some of something else. He's a top drug dealer and people all make his money for him or something. <laughs> You have other people who could do your job. <laughs> Bitcoin, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nanda, what am I doing wrong with my life? Actually, you know, John mentions this one-man operation, and that's my case too. When I was a one-man operation, Sadako and I did this. We went to China, to, to England, to Canada, to New Zealand, all over Japan. We were traveling all the time. My big mistake, my big, big, big mistake was starting a multi-employee business. That's, I guess, the key. Ball and chain.
I knew when I started it that it was going to be something that would hold me in place and I had a plan. It was going to take 10 years to start this business, build it up enough so that it could run for the most part by itself with the boss directing things. I said it was going to take 10 years. It's now 12 and counting. Yeah, dependents are called such for a reason, yeah. Well, it's not kids' dependents, it's staff. There's 30 here now, you know? The, pay, the payroll each month now goes to 30 people. Just, I cannot believe it. Where would I travel if money was no object? I don't know. I mean, traveling per se is not is not one of my life goals. Actually, I got lots of work I'd like to do, lots of projects I'd like to do. So no, if I had completely a free reign and a free run and no no uh, nothing holding me, it wouldn't be travel that would be the number one thing to do. There's projects, things I want to build, things I want to make, things I want to get involved with. So, so it's not travel per se. Asakusa, this is the ninth year. We opened the Asakusa shop in the fall of 2014. Somebody counting? I have no idea. I said there's 40 sheets. It's 20 large sheets cut in half to make 40. I don't know if anybody's counting or not. I don't know. write the script if, if I didn't have to do so many things. If I could write the script, what I would like, I think, is if this place wasn't Mokohankan, if this was the Mokohankan Woodblock Print Research Center, and I am one of the people in there. The shop runs without me. The office runs without me. I direct stuff. What's our subscription series for next year? I'm on the committee and I'm the boss of the committee that does that. And my daily time would be organized by this magical PA person who doesn't exist. And my daily time would be involved in, in now research projects, YouTube videos, a combination of videos about what we're doing, historical videos, Dave's chat videos, that would be one part. Next would be the research, the paper making, the chitty toddy, stuff like that. It would be the research end of this place. That's what I would like to do most. And here I am, I'm still on the, I'm firefighting in the, in the assembly lines. And that's wrong, that's not what I should be doing. <coughs> but yeah, if I could write the script, I would be the main researcher here. And of course, YouTube. And I desperately, desperately need a good PA type person to organize this for me. Someone's asking about no feedback from the Croissant Magazine article. It's here. 
I got the copy yesterday. It's in on the newsstands any minute now. In fact, I think today's the day it hits the newsstands. I'm not quite sure. I got the thing yesterday. You know. It came in the mail yesterday, and I'm like, what am I doing in here? I don't think you can see it. It's a ladies' magazine. It's Gokujo Hada wa Tsukureru. Uh, a gorgeous skin can be made. And it's all just, it's makeup and makeup and makeup and soap and makeup and making beautiful face and skin and makeup. Page after page after page of crap and product promotion and how to massage your skin to be more beautiful. It just goes on and on and on and on endlessly. And then somewhere near the back of it here, what is it, page whatever, page 78, we've got this story. There's some pictures, blah, 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 blah. It's on the newsstands, I think, today. And I'll, I don't know if there's going to be an online copy or not. I don't know. All I know is that this is the advanced copy they've sent to me. I have a link, and I'll... Here's a link to their catalog page that announces it, whatever. This, but the skincare routine is crazy. I shouldn't talk about this. I, this discussion comes up now and again. You know, I'm 71 years old. And, you know, my, my hands and skin and whatever are, I think, just whatever normal. But I do nothing. I use no soap. I never wash my hands with soap. I never put soap on my face. I don't like that stuff. And yet the ladies I've been concerned with, they wear rubber gloves and soap and all this stuff. And they're spotty and wrinkled and... <laughs> it's because of the size. It's full of collagen. Well, I don't drink the damn stuff. I have no idea how far along we are. What time is it? 8.41. No way we are going to get to a show and tell today. No, absolutely no way. It doesn't matter. It's okay. So 
so is Sabah. We tried doing some S&T show and tell while you were away. What, over on the Discord? <laughs> There is some uh, nice stuff here that arrived while I was away, you know. I know. We've talked about this before. What Nabisan and I, the flea market manager here, what Nabisan and I, we have an ongoing struggle. Prince will come up on Yahoo Auction. I'm the main guy who sees them and bids on them. But Prince come up on Yahoo Auction. I want them for my collection. She wants them for our flea market. And we have a, an ongoing battle together. In the last couple of weeks, of course, I wasn't here, so she won. She got lots of stuff for the flea market. <laughs> Oh, Contar stream. Really? Is it, uh, can I see this somewhere? Is it the log? A great wave cross stitch. That reminds me, you're talking about the great wave. You asked about the Lego thing, the great wave Lego. I wasn't involved with building it. My grandson, Alex, built the thing one afternoon over there. But I did see it at their home. And I was a bit disappointed in the finished thing. When you stand back, you can sort of see the great wave. But when you get up close, you realize that what the Lego company did, for the most part, they used pieces that they already had. They must have created a few new ones, the little faces, those little men for the great wave. But all the wave itself is built with pieces that Lego already had in their catalog. So the crest of that wave that comes over, it's made up of little white birds. And I was like, what? This is supposed to be a violent wave, and it's all little happy birds flipping, flipping, flipping around. I mean, I'm sure it makes sense business-wise. They can't make a hundred new pieces for every puzzle they make, but... Uh Scaffolding boys out there are noisy, I'm sorry. We're getting down to this. There's maybe, uh, no, no, we're not. There's about 10 sheets left here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do we have to do this because we're short-staffed? Well, partly that, short-staffed meaning not enough people, but the problem at the moment is I'm the only person who has this skill. So out of all of our team here, I'm the only person who can do this consistently and consistently well and good enough for the printers to use the paper. That's, uh, that's not, what's the word? That's not sustainable. And we have a plan to change this starting in late March, April, when the temperature warms up. What we're going to do, and we've all decided about this, starting in the spring, I will not be doing this by myself. I will be doing this each time with one of the printers taking turns. The idea is that the in-house print staff is going to learn how to do this. The goal would be that each person would then do their own sizing. Now, that's not actually quite so simple because the sizing I'm doing here today is for two people for large batches of prints. 
if someone was doing just a small job, it, you don't, it doesn't make any sense to set the gear up just for one small job. So we're going to have them, as much as possible, learn how to do this, and then maybe do it in batches. Then maybe one day Ishikawa-san will do the paper for that week's printing for the three girls upstairs. The week later, somebody else would do the paper for another couple of people. Some of them are going to turn out to be better at this than others. We don't know. It's just that we've realized we have to start this. We can't leave it so that Dave is the only guy in the building with this skill. That's not sustainable. The reason we're waiting till the weather warms up <coughs> is because it's much easier when the weather is warm. When it's cold, the margin of error is really low. Too high or too low, it doesn't work. When the weather is warm, the margin of error is easier. There can be too much glue, not enough glue, and the paper is still printable because it's warm and soft. It gets really critical and difficult when it's cold. They really didn't want to do this. I've been talking about this for years, and they have always said, no, no, I'm out of here. But they have now come to the realization, after the trouble we had half a year ago, or, or three, four months ago, when I, I left it for Aoyama-san, and they realized that having a person who is not a printer do the work is a recipe for disaster. He's a good guy, he builds stuff, he works all over the place for us, but he's not a printer. He has no touch for the paper, no feeling for this, no idea whether it's good or bad. And it was a disaster. So we've come to the realization that a person who is a printer is the best person for doing this, and that means they've got to start doing their own. Some of this, if it's, is it temperature only? We don't know, Vivitsan. You know what we're doing here. We're struggling to learn how to do this. The clearly understandable thing is when it gets cold, we do this. When it gets warm, we do that. But yeah, humidity is obviously a factor as well. And each batch of paper is different. And each batch of glue when it comes in is also different. There's so many freaking variables. Another huge variable is how slowly it dries. It's not just how many grams of glue. If I lowered the glue here, if I turned out that I had not put enough glue in, I realized there's not enough, the paper will be too weak, I can fix that by drying it quickly. It'll become harder and more brittle, and it will survive. Wait, wait, I can't catch all the conversation. I'm sorry. had that conversation in the shop. I wasn't in the shop yesterday. Today, what day is it? Today's Saturday here. No. Yeah, today's Saturday. I wasn't in the shop yesterday. I had way too much work to do upstairs. But the Thursday, Thursday was a national holiday here, so we were short-staffed. So even though I had just arrived from Japan the day before, arrived from Canada, I did, uh, I was on the shop staff on Thursday for the first time in a couple of weeks. And it was a nice day. It was a fun day. Quite, quite busy whatever, 12, 13, 14 groups of people in, and easily half of the people who were in were YouTube viewers. You know, they come in the door. <laughs> we, we can see the difference as soon as the door opens and somebody comes in or when they come through the entrance. We, I think we've talked about this a bit before. There's people who don't know anything about their business. They walk down the street, wood prints, they come in, and they look around, you know, like you do when you walk in the store. What's in here? What's going on? And then they walk forward. We say, hello, come in. They come in. 
Then there's the other people who know about us. They, they've followed uh, their smartphone to learn where we are. They come in the door and there's no way. They're not sort of, where is this? They're smiling. They're happy. If they've got a mask, you can see their eyes beaming above the mask. They're happy to get in here. And we know already this is going to be fun. These people, they know who we are. They've come to see us and they're already happy. So what I was getting at was that somebody a minute ago here posted, what was it? Somebody, somebody, who's this? Oh, no. I got a little starstruck when you read my question. I, I don't remember the name in East, EA5 TV. I don't remember who you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the, the reason I bring it up is because I heard this on Thursday time and time and time again. And uh, whatever, it's, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. We'll be there and these people have come in and they're looking around. They're, they're browsing some prints and a minute later somebody comes in and browses and at some point somebody says, Oh, Dave, I got to say thanks for the videos, you know, and somebody will say something like this and that breaks the dam. And there's some other people who wanted to talk, but were too shy slash polite. A lot of people are really, really super polite. They don't want to break. I'm busy. I'm doing something. They don't want to interrupt me. But once somebody says this, other people turn around like, yeah, wow, well, good. <laughs> so, so we've got this, you know, bunch of people who are behaving this way, and it's endless fun, I know. The conversation is exactly the same way each time. People make the comment like this, they're starstruck or something, and I say, please, please, I'm just the guy working here, making woodblock prints, trying to, and making some videos. Relax, you know, what you do is probably very interesting as well. So lay off this starstruck stuff, you know. Let's just, let's just chat, you know, whatever. So, but it doesn't, uh... yeah, John's saying is wait until the third week of March. I don't want to go there. John says, let's go watch the sumo. Like what, at midnight, John? I'm already seeing stories in our newspaper about hotels being booked up already. They got no rooms left for all of April, flights booked out. It's going to be absolute chaos, absolute chaos. How are the aerospace, aerospace people are getting on? I have their update page bookmarked and the, the, the machine, the, the lander is still on its big loop. It's getting back closer to the moon. I am following this. I will bring you updates when I learn. When it gets near the landing, I will be on this. But at the moment, no, they're on that huge low, I don't know, what's it called? Low, low fuel requirement. I don't know the, the name for it. Low, no, something, low transfer orbit. I can't remember, I'm sorry. I don't know the technical term. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about here, let me quickly grab a link for you here. I have this link in my browser. It is open all the time. Here is the news page for the iSpace people. That's their news page. I think we're halfway. What do we got left here? One. We are. Sheet number 40. Okay, okay, okay.
857, we're only halfway. We are in trouble today. Well, trouble is as trouble as. With this larger paper, it, desk space here is at a real premium. <clears throat> it's hard to fit everything in. <clears throat> okay, I can't follow all this, I'm sorry. I will have fun reading this. Okay, let's, uh, okay, no, actually, I need more. I need more, more liquid. We made three liters here today to do this, but I couldn't put all three liters in here at once. We're gonna actually use probably about two liters of liquid but if I need two liters, I can't make two liters because then there's going to be nothing at the end of it for the brush to dip into. <clears throat> so if I'm going to use about two liters, I made three, which means there'll be about a liter left over. But it also means I couldn't put all three liters in there at the beginning because it would then be too deep. The brush would sink and get messy. So I poured about one and a half to two liters in there at first, and I left the other one liter left over on the stove. It's now too cool, so give me one second to heat that up and bring it back. Saturday soca. Nine o'clock on a Saturday. Look at this. I've forgotten completely about this. Who remembered it? So are we only chocolate eggs here? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, back to work, back to work, back to work, back to work. This is now the back side of the paper. It's been flipped over. You saw the you saw this. I flipped it left to right over. So I started at this side and came that way. Now we're going to start at the other end of the paper and go back the other way. 
The idea is to try and balance out the amount of liquid in each sheet. If I was a super expert at this, it wouldn't make any difference. But I am not a super expert. Now, the thing to watch out for, if you're on this other camera down here, we want to watch out for pools. You can see the reflection. If you see standing water here, there's nothing here, but if you start to see standing water here, speak up and let me know. I think we're going to be okay, but... Looking good, maybe a bit on the light side. What's this crafter guy here? Yes, the stretching is a huge, huge problem. It's probably going to be okay today because these sheets are thick and hard and heavy. But yes, what he's talking about, as I'm doing the back side, if I press too hard with the brush, the one underneath will buckle spoiling a couple of sheets so I am trying to be very careful not to put too much downward pressure here. It's not a heavy risk today but it is a risk. And once we get down in the pile you'll see me start to feel in this area to see if I can feel any buckling that may have happened underneath. Oh, ho, ho, disaster. Look at that. I pulled two sheets out. Did you see her go down? We may have spoiled a sheet there. Who knows? Don't tell anybody.
Let's have a look at it. We may have spoiled this one. We dropped it on the floor. No idea, we might have got away with it, I don't know. No idea. <laughs> What's the rule? If it's on the floor for less than five seconds, we can still eat it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and that's too much liquid. <laughs> All right. Can you see the shininess? Look, 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 look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. When I picked it up off the floor, I flipped it over. It's done. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so what we've done, we've sized one of them. We put size twice on one face and it didn't get any on the back. Wrong side. So let's do this. Let's mark this sheet just so that we can find it easily later. Let's cut the corner off. This is going to be a dead sheet of paper. We'll use it for testing. <laughs> Saru mo. Kikara Ochiru. At least that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Win some, lose some. That little mistake there cost me one of these sheets of paper. We're looking at about 22 bucks. <laughs> the brush is goat hair. These are goat hair brushes. Yagi no ke. That's also something else that happened while I was away. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in the next room somewhere. Just a minute. It might be right nearby. Hang on. I don't see it. There's a box from Yahoo Auction that we uh, that we received while I was away. A box full of goat hair.
it's going too fast, I can't see this. <laughs> Well, the chat is chatty today. I can't see. Good. Go for it, guys. Go for it. What time is it now? 9.14. <laughs> it's show and tell time. Not a chance, obviously, today. I'm in the shop, too. I'm supposed to be in the shop from 9.30. Not going to happen. get downstairs God, I shouldn't have tried to do 40 sheets of this size in this time frame what do we normally do we'll do a batch of 30 or 40 sheets of like the great wave paper we can get that done and hung in a normal session right You talk about missing these streams. The, over the next couple of weeks now then, I'm not quite sure what the content of these streams is going to be for the next couple of weeks. As you know, just before going to Canada, I finished up work on the first of the series, the Hokusai series, the Hokusai sketches. My next run, my next one in the Hokusai print, I'll be doing number four. And that one will be published in January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So my next print will be the July publication. So I still have quite a bit of time before getting that done. The Surfer Girl blocks, as I said, they're out being tested. So that might be finished. It might need some more cutting. I'm not sure. I'll find out when I see the test prints. So I'm not sure what my next job will be. My next streamable job. I have to get some YouTube videos made. My next few priorities will be YouTube videos. So I'm not sure what I have for streaming content over the next few weeks. There will be more sizing streams, absolutely. In maybe even next week there will be one or two more of these because I have got to get catching up on this. But I'm not sure of what other content streams I've got. There will be a guest coming in a few weeks. I think it's scheduled for the second week of March. We have a guest coming from the British Museum. They are bringing a video team and they want to see me doing some tracing, interview me. They want to see Askasan carving. They want to see one of the printers. And she's going to be here for a couple of weeks. So I think one of the streams in early March, maybe around mid-March, uh, Dr. Korenberg from the British Museum will be sitting in as a guest on one of these streams and we'll be talking about the the Hokusai project and maybe our differing views about the great wave prints stuff like that So stand by for that one. Nearest guess I can say right now is that will be in mid-March, 15th, 16th, somewhere around there. I don't even remember what day of the week it's going to be.
She's a real nice lady. She's dead wrong on the prints. <laughs> She's a real nice reader, and she's done some good research, and she's taught me a lot of stuff about some of this. We'll be talking about this, maybe. I'll, I'll no point talking about it now. Save it for when she's here. She has done some excellent research on some of Hokusai's books, and show me some stuff, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. She has really dug in well. It's not a wave, it's a particle. <laughs> Can I use that? <laughs> Chocolate egg, please. Chocolate egg to this one. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Cash override. Couple of tasty chocolate eggs, please. What's our time? 9.20. Oh my god. Okay, look, look, look. I'm gonna have to run through this, but the, let's let's put the warning up here right now. The normal sizing streams work like this. I do the front, I flip it, I do the back, and then I break everything up, take it in the next room and hang the paper. I think maybe today that's not going to happen. Let's do it this way. I have, Because I have got to get downstairs as fast as possible. I'm the guy with the key and I'm the head, uh, the head duty man here today. I've got to get down there as soon as possible. So let's do this. Let's run this one now till I get to the back side of this one. And then let's say goodbye at that point. With you guys out of the way, I can bang, 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 get it hung up and get downstairs and get running without going through all that rigmarole of moving the stream to the next room. And then you yeah, have the laundry, whatever. So let's do it that way, please. I'm sorry to sort of toss you aside like that, but I think we're okay. We've had a good hour and a half together. And also, too, when I'm hanging up in the next room, I can't see the chat. Well, there's not really any chance of good conversation. So let's do it this way today. Let me get to the end of this pile, and I'll, I'll see you later. And I'll be back Monday morning with, with something. Also, too, something, a, a, an idea that I tossed out quite a while back on this. Because the next couple of months, or the next month or so, is not a carving time for me. It's an office time, and a work time, and a video script time. It makes it difficult to, to think about streaming ideas. So... It might be time to put to put an idea into practice that we talked about a while ago, where some of the streams are not specifically about work, you know, me carving with you guys chatting and me answering the occasional question. We could maybe do some streams that are more intense as far as back and forth goes. As in, I can sit somewhere, relax somewhere with the camera set up, and I'm not actually pretending to work, we are just talking together. Maybe we prepare a topic in advance, throw out some questions, 
we can maybe try some alternative streams here. I gotta keep working. This might be a chance for us to play with some of those ideas. So if you've got thoughts about this or suggestions about this or some ways we could maybe make that interesting, drop me an email. You know the deal, twitch at mokohankan.com. Drop me some emails. And let's see if we can maybe find uh, find something interesting. I don't feel any creases. I've been feeling carefully as, as we go along. Seems we've got a good flat deck here today. Or show and tell, yeah, a more intense show and tell stream. That's another idea. So, so. Yeah, we could do a stream about the Tokaido series, a 24-hour stream. <laughs> Tell the lady to bring some items from the museum. I doubt she'll be bringing items from the British Museum in her baggage. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I don't think so. But yes, for sure, that stream with the British Museum lady, absolutely. I will prepare in advance some stuff, because we will be chatting about this and this and this and this and this. Yes, no, yes, no. So before that stream, absolutely, I will prepare some video, some, some visual material, some links, and pre prep that in advance. Absolutely. Another idea, I see Taransan has dropped in here. Maybe Taransan and I, next week, two weeks from now, whatever, he can bring some of the blocks he's done. We can do a special stream talking about the print work he's doing for us right now. Yeah, that's another idea. This is one heavy deck of paper here now. Whatever the weight of the paper was, it's now the weight of the paper plus one and a half liters or so of water. This is one heavy little deck of paper now. About 10 left, somebody says, somewhere around there, I guess. Not quite that many, maybe seven or eight, let's see. For those who've joined recently, the noise you hear in the background outside, it sounds like pipes. They're either putting up or taking down a scaffolding. There's a building under construction, kitty corner at the back behind us. And in the old days in Japan, in fact, when I first came here, it was still common. You would see bamboo scaffolding. We don't see that at all anymore. 
it's all metal pipes these days. I think in Hong Kong maybe they still do it. You'll see a 50-story skyscraper with bamboo scaffolding. Here in Japan we don't see that ever anymore. It's all this metal stuff and the guys just don't care about noise. Okay, four sheets left. This has turned out well today. It's good. It's not the exact perfect plan for sizing where you see the thing right to the end, but this has turned out well. My schedule is okay. I've got to get downstairs and open the shop, and we're at the end of the brushing here. So good. Thanks for your uh, thanks for your understanding of this. It's been a nice, easy, peaceful way for me to get back in the saddle here today. So thank you very much. I know today at noon, in, at lunchtime, because the shop's open, there's no way I'll be checking the chat at lunchtime as usual. But tonight I will read through this. I'll enjoy reading your conversations this evening. gone well other than the one sheet that I destroyed part way along by dropping it on the floor it's gone well today we have a good solid deck of paper here about this stuff too you know as I said a moment ago this is now one heavy deck of paper I can feel vividly I can feel the difference in weight and anybody who's doing this themselves anybody who's doing this themselves you know you get your stuff done and you hang it up I, this happened to me once in the early days when I was doing this the weight is palpable right there. That's a heavy deck of paper. But once you hang it up, one, two, three, you've got to make sure your strings and the screws can hold this. This is, I don't know, this is a couple of kilograms now of stuff. And if, when you get your strings ready, it seems okay. One sheet of paper, no problem. But 40 sheets of paper that are wet hanging up there and part way along, boom, down she comes and you've lost everything. So we really are careful with this. We've got those things screwed and blasted into the wall, and it's really, really heavy, thick gauge stuff. I don't think I could swing on it, but it's really, really, really tough. Because this stuff, once it's up there, it's good and heavy. Okay, I really have to get going now. Thank you very much. I've had fun getting back into this. There will be another stream two days from now on Monday. I don't have a clue what it's going to be about. 
but I will try and work hard to bring you interesting content as we go forward the next month or so until it's time for me to get back into carving. I have no idea what's going to be up, but there we are. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in a couple of days. And laundry, yes, yes, yes. What's first? Laundry, key downstairs, hanging up. Panic, panic. See you next time, gang. Thank you very much.